Hey, I am the problem. I went on a date with this guy and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you gay? Like what? And like, I, he, I just wanted him to like try and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? I wasn't going to sleep with him. I, but I just, now I feel ugly. This is what. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, Yo it, these are the people that you guys are afraid to approach. Huh? These are the people that you guys have approach anxiety for like this? Come, bro. Oh. Yes, you are the problem. Le you see, at least, she, at least she admits that she's the problem. Lord have mercy. Look, guys, this is insecurity on full display, especially that part where she says, now I feel ugly, right? This is attention whoring on full display. Because check this out. The dude is not gay. The dude just doesn't know how to lead a woman. The dude doesn't have a masculine identity. That's all that's going on here. You understand? Because what was supposed to happen is he was supposed to be like, yo, you find a shit. I'm trying to do something real fun to you tonight. I'm trying to get freaky with you. I'm trying to do a horizontal dance with you tonight. I'm trying to get some coitus popping. I'm trying to whatever, however you want to say it. I want you to come over to my crib so I can split you in half because you sexy as hell. And then she's going to be like, oh, well, we're not having sex. And he could be like, well, listen, you got my number. When you're ready to do that, that's when I'll invite you over. You don't invite no woman over talking that mess or acting or acting wishy-washy about the situation. You get what I'm saying? You don't do that, fellas. This is the quickest way to get me too A woman who's acting like she's on the fence going back and forth just because her insecurity or just because of this or just because of that. You want to be direct with these women so she understands exactly why she's coming to your crib. Now, what happened here is she was dealing with a man that had no masculine identity, a man who wasn't focused on himself. He wasn't focused on what he really wanted to do. He know he wanted to smash this girl. You understand? And... Apparently, she wanted him to at least try. But the only reason why she wanted him to at least try was so she can get her attention fixed. Because girls like this need to be validated, especially if you decide to follow their lead. You get what I'm saying? But again, when you follow a woman's lead, what you do is reinforce her insecurity. I'm going to say that one more time. When you follow a woman's lead, you reinforce her insecurity. Because based on this video, <laughs> and I'm telling you, this happens a lot. Based on what's going on in this video, this woman knows she's not fit to lead. Why do you think she's so frustrated towards the end of the video? She's frustrated because she tried to lead the situation by telling him they wasn't going to have sex. He still allowed her to come over. That means he gave her extra time and attention that she did not earn. Right. So she got she received ill got time and attention from this man. And then he followed her lead by not trying to make a move. And then she still came out upset, insecure and confused and frustrated. You get what I'm saying? As a man, we got to know what we want. We got to focus on what we want. We got to tell this woman what we want. And if she's acting like she's not with it, then she doesn't get our extra time and attention. She doesn't get to come over and bask in the safety and security and luxury of my home. She doesn't get the comfort of cuddling with me all night. She doesn't get those things unless she's doing what I want to do because she has to follow my lead. I'm the man. You get what I'm saying? And she would have been better off that way because she probably wanted to smash this dude. If he was being direct with her, if he was actually being a man, she more than likely would have smashed the dude. You get what I'm saying? But she realized that she was dealing with a softie. And, and it's so funny that she would ask, oh, are you gay or whatever? whatever. It's, it's just so weird the way, the way women are. And this is why we cannot follow their lead. We got to be direct with these women. We got to let them know what we really trying to do. And if they act in wishy-washy, then she doesn't get to come over. You understand? Check, please. Have a good night. Take it easy. You got my number. If you change your mind, then you can come to my crib because now, you know, as soon as you come to my crib, you know what we're getting into. There's no false pretense. There's no disingenuousness. There is only the truth.
You see what I'm saying? And you want a woman to understand the intent behind the invitation. Guys, we got to stop this. This, uh, hey, just come over and catch the vibe and all that bullshit. No, come over and get this dick. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you know, just come over and chill and catch the vibe. No, guys, we got to stop playing these games. That's why these women take advantage of you guys. That's why these women try to take advantage of you, manipulate you. Because once they see that you're willing to follow their lead, they're like, oh, I can manipulate this guy. You see what I'm saying? But deep down and naturally speaking, a woman wants to follow a man's lead. So you have to lead. And the thing is, is that when you don't lead and you give the woman the reins, you give her the ability to make to call the shots. This is a situation you put her in a, a situation of indecisiveness, a situation of insecurity. You see, let me tell you something. When I say a man must lead the situation, you must never put a woman in a situation where she has to make the decision. You must never put a woman in a situation where she has to call the shots. She's either going to comply with your program, comply with your expectations, comply with your requirements, or she's out the door. It's only one or the other. Very black and white. That's what we need to do, guys. I also want you guys to notice the part where she says that he was a gentleman and he was nice. She almost has a disgusted look on her face. Play the play the video back and the part where she says, oh, he was so nice and he respected my wishes. She almost she almost expressed a level of disgust. Right. Because she was dealing with a man that was following her her lead. She was dealing with a man that was taking her cues on on not sleeping together and all that other stuff it's like look i'm letting the woman me personally guys i'm telling you i'm letting the woman know what it is before she comes over because i can't i, I can't take the bullshit and and then okay <clears throat> and let's just say i decided to 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 do like him and invite her over i would make a move and as soon as she acted like she wasn't with it she's gone i don't care how late it is i don't care what it is i will wait for you at the corner to pick up your uber just for safety purposes you get what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, but you're not staying in my house while I'm trying to smash, bro. <laughs> like I'm I'm not letting you stay in my crib. I'm not cuddling you all night when I know that truthfully I want to hit and you acting like you don't want to do it. It doesn't work that way. Guys, we have to have a strong masculine identity. And when I say a strong masculine identity, that means to embrace who you are and not just who you are, but what you want what you're focused on. And if a chick is not focused on the same thing, she doesn't need to be in your presence. You have to be okay with dismissing a woman who is not on the same page as you. This is what it's really about. This is what leadership is about. Look, it's either my way or the highway. And that's not to say my way is the only way, but if you're not, if you're not trying to, to be a part of my way, then why should I mess with you? Why should I give you my time? Why should I let you stay in my crib? Why should I cuddle you? Why should I give you all this comfort and attention? We into the when late night hours of the morning and I'm not smashing? Guys, we got to do better than this. And you notice that it doesn't it doesn't bode well for the female either because all you really did by by following her lead was reinforce her insecurities. All right, guys? Another thing I want you guys to notice is that he asked her, you know, he's like, "Hey, it's getting late." Do you want to come over to my place? Guys, we need to stop asking women questions and start giving them instructions. Tell a woman what you would like or what you want her to do. If she doesn't want to do it, fine. Have a good night. Peace. Take it easy. Can I walk you to your car? Are you waiting for an Uber? I will wait with you just for safety purposes. You have a good night. You get what I'm saying? We need to stop asking women questions and start giving them instructions, letting. And, and again, if you don't want to be disrespectful or if you want to be polite about it, at, at least at, at the very least, tell her what you would like to happen. You understand? Be like, listen, it's getting late. I would like for you to come back to my place and we'll see what happens. It's getting late. I'd like for you to come back to my place and maybe we could get intimate. It's getting late. I'd like for you to get come back to my place so we can have some fun. It's getting late. I'd like for you to come back to my place because I'm looking at you right now and you looking really attractive and I want to do some nasty things to you. However you want to say it, but you have to let the woman know what you want to happen. And like I said, you don't have to be, you don't have to bark orders at her, but you could still say to her, I would like for you to come back to my place. And this is what I would like to happen. Just be honest. If she says no, have a good night. Let me walk you to your car. Can I wait with you for your Uber just to make sure you're safe? You get what I'm saying? 
There is no problem with a woman telling you no. But it's better that she tells you no outside of your house than to be struggling with you inside your house. Because once she gets inside your house, who knows? <laughs> you understand? Who knows? And that's the easiest way to get into misunderstandings and hashtags and all that bullshit. You don't want that, guys. Another thing is this. Situations like this can also go the opposite way, where a woman is so insulted by the fact that the guy didn't try that she makes up the story and then creates a false narrative that he did do something to her just so she could preserve her insecurities of feeling pretty. So this is why you shouldn't invite her at all unless she's down for what you're trying to do. This is exactly why we have to be honest, genuine, and direct with these women because their insecurities will allow them their brains to create false narratives. And that can put you in a certain situation that you don't want to be in. Do you understand? Because notice, she says, I wanted him to try and he didn't try. Now I feel ugly. What if she flipped the story entirely and was like, oh, yeah, he tried. I came to his house and he was nice at first, but then he tried to do this. And I felt so violated and this and that and that and this just so she can maintain the narrative in her mind that she's that attractive, that there's no way that a guy would have her in his house late at night and not try something. You get what I'm saying? Because if she ha if she can feel ugly by the fact that the guy didn't try, if she tells this story to one of her girlfriends, one her girlfriends would probably be like, man, either he's gay or he thinks you're ugly. And she wouldn't want to hear that. So she would rather make up a story so she can maintain her image of being a bad bitch or being a, a, a dime or whatever it is, or being an attractive young woman or whatever it is. You get what I'm saying? So guys, we got to stay clear of this stuff. We got to leave the situation. We got to be honest. We got to let these women know exactly what we're trying to do. If she's not on the same page, let her go. That's it. All right. So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you got something from this video. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember the truth is inside you. Peace.